Hello and welcome to Cash and Coins. I do appreciate you watching. Today we're going to briefly discuss coin collecting in Sweden from my good friend Swede Stacker. You can find him on YouTube and Instagram. I will put a link down to his channel in the description. All the pictures and the coins in this video are from his Instagram. He did send these to me to to upload for this video. And if you want to check out his growing channel, it's growing but awesome. That would be fantastic. You can let him know that Cash and Coins sent you if you'd like. I picked some random questions to ask him about coin collecting in Sweden. You know, we were just having a good time, not not anything too serious. If you do have any questions about Sweden, you can definitely ask him. He's very kind and very generous. Well, let's get into it. My first question, taxes on precious metals, buying and selling. He said, silver we pay VAT 25% and gold is an, an investment with no VAT. And he said, you can sell without some taxes. And VAT is value added tax. In Sweden, it's called this name here on the screen. And its abbreviation is MOMS. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. So my next question was, how do you buy coins in Sweden? He said, we have some LCSs in the big cities. Then he said, I buy on the internet at auctions and from Germany and Belgium. I asked him what about online dealers in Sweden. He said there are three to four good dealers. And I asked him about coin shops in Sweden. He said they are in Stockholm, Malmö, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, and Gothenburg. Not sure if that's correct either. So I asked him does the Swedish mint make any bullion coins? He said no bullion coins, just boring coins of the royal family. And Astrid uh, Lindgren, and I believe she is a, a famous author from Sweden. So then I asked him, what is the most popular car in Sweden? He said, hmm, I think Volvo. I think Audi, BMW, and Kia. So I went on and asked him the next question. I said, does Sweden have a large coin collecting community or a stacking community? He said straight, no. Then he added, there are forums, but he thinks that's a little bit old school. And he said they are on Instagram and YouTube is where it happens. So I asked him, how do Swedes feel about Norway or Finland? I've always wondered that. And the United States. He said, the Nordic is strong together. I love the U.S. The people are so friendly, but I have different views on politicians. Well, welcome. We all have different views on politicians. And I know Finland, they don't consider that as uh, Scandinavia. It's, I believe it's Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. But I've always put Finland in there. I did a DNA test. They said I, I have some Finnish blood. Very little. Uh, 1%, I believe. All right, so what is the most popular coin in Sweden? And I, he put, I think our gold coins, the 10 krona and the 20 krona. So I asked him, do Swedes watch the old uh, Vikings TV show? And how do you feel about Vikings and how they're represented in movies as wild, you know, crazed, sex crazed or invaders and all that stuff? And he laughed. Uh, he said he has seen it, but it's not his taste in film or TV shows. Then he added, but we are crazy. <laughs> Good answer. All right. And then I... You know, everyone knows ABBA, so I had to ask him about ABBA. ABBA's from Sweden. I said, do you listen to ABBA? He said, I like ABBA, but Sweden is a big country, and they are exporting a lot of music. So, and I do, I have heard of some other Swedish artists, which I put them here. Then I asked him, do you buy at Ikea? He said, yes, my wife does. And I asked him, would he like to add anything else? And he said, his big passion is travel and stacking. I guess on his videos, he said you have to excuse his, his English. And he said the Swedish economy has with, withstood well. And they had low uh, central government debt. But it's tough in these times for many companies. And he doesn't feel that they've become indebted as the U.S., but he said he may be wrong. And he said much of the debt may be due that they have had lifelong free medical care for all citizens. 
for that they pay high taxes. And he also said they have a well-functioning welfare, despite the fact that many still complain. And I say to him, uh, welcome, everybody always complains. <laughs> I think there was a famous king or something that says, you can't please, that, please everyone all the time. Someone told me Lincoln said that too. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. You know I really do. And as I always say, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next video.